Hi, welcome to Acids and Bases Part 4. My name is Dr. English. Today we're going to be talking about pH and the pH scale. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the ionization constant for water, introduction to the pH scale, understanding the pH scale, and a little bit of practice at the end. So let's start out by talking about the ionization constant for water. Although the water molecule is not ionic, it is able to ionize or form ions to a very, very small extent. Water ionizes in the following manner. So we can have H2O liquid breaking down in a reversible reaction to hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions, or we can look at it in terms of two water molecules where one water molecule breaks down, donates its hydrogen to the other water molecule to make the hydronium ion and the hydroxide ion. This means that any water solution contains both hydrogen and hydroxide ions. The product, in other words multiplying, of these two concentrations is equal to a constant. The constant is called the ionization constant for water and can be expressed as Kw is equal to the concentration of hydrogen ions times the concentration of hydroxide ions which is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 14. Negative 14. Remember, the brackets right here signify concentration, which is molarity, in moles per liter. So one of the things that you need to think about is remember back to your molarity formula on your reference table. So molarity, which is a capital M, is equal to moles over liters, which we're going to refer back to in future videos. So let's now look at the relationship between the concentration of hydrogen and the concentration of hydroxide and remembering that they have to always equal this constant of 1 times 10 to the negative 14. If the concentration of the hydrogen ion is increased, in other words this concentration here is going up, the concentration of the hydroxide ion must decrease so this has to go down so that, the ioniz so that the ionization constant remains constant. Now remember, hydrogen ions are associated with acids. Hydroxide ions are associated with bases. So if we increase the hydrogen ion concentration and decrease the hydroxide, our solution is going to become more acidic. Let's look at a different scenario. If the concentration of the hydrogen ion is decreased, the concentration of the hydroxide ion must increase. So if all of a sudden the hydrogen ion concentration decreases, the hydroxide ion concentration must increase, and as a result, because we are always looking to keep this constant, this solution would become more basic. In pure water, the hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion concentrations are equal. In other words, a neutral pH. So if we take 1 times 10 to the negative 14 and split it, that means the hydrogen ion concentration is going to equal 1 times 10 to the negative 7, and the hydroxide ion concentration is going to equal also 1 times 10 to the negative 7. In an acidic solution, the hydrogen ion concentration is greater than the hydroxide ion concentration. So my hydrogen ion concentration is greater than hydroxide. In a basic solution, the hydroxide ion concentration is greater than the hydrogen ion concentration. So we're going to have less hydrogen ions and more hydroxide ions. But the key thing to remember here is that these concentrations, when multiplied together, must always equal 1 times 10 to the negative 14. Now let's talk about the pH scale. The strength of an acid or basic solution is a function of its hydrogen ion concentration. It's all about hydrogen ion concentration and not really hydroxide. The concentration of hydrogen ion can be expressed using a scale called pH. A neutral solution has a pH of 7. Acidic solutions have a pH of less than 7. The smaller the pH, the more acidic the solution. So we're talking about down here. So the lower the pH, the more acidic it's going to be. Basic solutions have pH greater than 7. The greater the pH, in other words, the closer it is to 14, 
the more basic the solution. So over here we have an example of a pH scale with common items listed of where their pHs would fall. So our most basic solutions are around 14, 13, 12 worth with bleach and soapy water and ammonia, milk of magnesia, baking soda, seawater is slightly basic, and distilled water right here is around a pH of 7. Your urine, black coffee, tomato juice, orange juice, lemon juice, gastric juices are all increasing in acidity as they go down the scale. The pH of a solution can be related to its hydrogen ion concentration by the equation concentration of hydrogen ion is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative pH. And this is what we're paying attention to right here. A solution with a hydrogen ion concentration equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 8 has a pH of negative 8. A hydrogen ion concentration of 1 times 10 to the negative 4 will have a pH of 4. A hydrogen ion concentration of 1 times 10 to the negative 11, a very small number, will have a pH of 11. A hydrogen ion concentration of 1 times 10 to the negative 9 will have a pH of 9. So if you're given the hydrogen ion concentration, you can figure out the pH by looking at the absolute value of the exponent. Since pH is an exponential function, when the pH changes by one unit, the hydrogen ion concentration has changed by a factor of 10. We are dealing with a base 10 system here. So a solution of pH of 1 is not twice as acidic as pH of 2, it's 10 times as acidic. A solution of a pH of 1 is not 3 times as acidic as pH of 3, it's 100 times as acidic. So as you move from unit to unit here, these are all base 10. These are all base 10 as we move through. So a pH of 9 is 10 times more basic than a pH of 8. A pH of 9 is 100 times more basic than a pH of 7. And a pH of 9 is 1,000 times more basic than a pH of 6. So never twice something, it's always base 10. And that's something that you really need to understand and pay attention to. So let's try some practice. So what I'd like you to do is stop, read through the two questions, try to answer, and then come back and check your work. Welcome back, let's see how you did. When the pH of an aqueous solution is changed from one to two, in other words, we're becoming more basic, our hydrogen ion concentration is decreasing and our hydroxide ion concentration is increasing. The concentration of hydronium ions, now remember, hydronium ions, H3, O plus 1 is the same thing as a hydrogen ion. So basically they're saying what's happening to the hydrogen ions here. In the solution is either decreased by a factor of 2, decreased by a factor of 10, increased by a factor of 2, increased by a factor of 10. We know that moving from one unit to another is always base 10, so that means that A and C are out. Now we're going from 1 to 2. If we're going from 1 to 2, that means our hydrogen ion concentration is going to decrease, our hydronium ion is going to decrease, and our hydroxide ion concentration is going to increase. So they want to know what's going on with the hydronium ions. So the hydronium ions are going to decrease by a factor of 10 because we're becoming more basic. We're going not, we're not becoming more acidic and going down, we're becoming more basic and going towards the 14. If our hydronium ions were increasing by a factor of 10, we'd be becoming more acidic. Let's look at the other problem. When the hydroxide ion concentration of a solution is increased by a factor of 10, the pH value of the solution will decrease 1 pH unit, will decrease 10 pH units, will increase 1 pH unit, will increase 10 pH units. So as you go through the pH scale, you are moving in units of one. Each of those units of one is times 10 in concentration. So if we're increasing our hydroxide ion concentration, that means we're decreasing our hydrogen ion concentration. If we're increasing our hydroxide ion concentration, that means we are increasing one pH unit. We want to have higher pH numbers because we are becoming more basic. 
if we decrease one pH unit, that means we're becoming more acidic. And we're not going to decrease 10 pH units or increase 10 pH units because that would be a very big jump on the pH scale. So what did you learn in this tutorial? We talked about the ionization constant for water. We did an introduction to the pH scale. We looked in depth at the pH scale. And then we did a little practice at the end. Need more help? Feel free to contact me. Have a great day.